These guests are arriving for the opening ceremony of the most prestigious Ukrainian film festival. Started in 1970 as a student's competition from one of Kyiv's film schools, in just a few decades it has turned into one of the most influential European film festivals for young talent. It's admissions to the Oscar, more than 200 movies across five locations and countless stars. A week-long program of 45th Kyiv International Film Festival Mologis is kicking off right here on this red carpet. Despite the war in Eastern Ukraine and financial crisis, the festival director still managed to pull it out. We are very glad that we have our stars, our Ukrainian actors and some of our uh, international guests. The uh, in situation in Ukraine that is not easy and during war and during aggression, it's very important for me to create the festival this year. The chairwoman of the festival's international jury was the festival contestant herself 20 years ago. And today she echoes Mr. Halpachchi's comments. I think it's most important, of course, to keep this festival alive during hard times. So I think it's most, most, most important to be there and to fight together for cinema and to hope that cinema can unite all the people in different countries uh, in spite of uh, political problems. The competition program consists of student films, short films and full feature films divided into national and international competitions, as well as special sections, Molly's for Kids and Sunny Bunny, which features LGBT topic films. For me, this is always a pretty critical point. I do not understand those uh, liberty issue and when people have problems with uh, just uh, having respect towards the, the liberty, the freedom of other person. So this is why I want to drag more attention of the society uh, you know, to, to this problem. The opening ceremony was attended, among others, by Ukraine's former president Viktor Yushchenko and culture minister of Ukraine, Mr. Kirilenko, who promised more money for the festival next year and recognized award-winning Ukrainian director Miroslav Slaboshpetsky, whose movie, The Tribe, won awards at Cannes, Milan and London film festivals last year. Miroslav says his entire generation grew up on the festival's films. When I study in film school, uh, I think all my uh, generation uh, has had one and only opportunity to see any film from the different parts of the world, any interesting art house and uh, film. Mologis is the festival of first feature films. Throughout its 45-year history, it discovered such a renowned film directors as Fred Kalaman, Alan Berliner, Francois Ozon, to name a few. As part of the French Connection program, the festival features films of young French directors. The recently appointed French ambassador to Ukraine was overwhelmed with happiness, both on stage and off. Oh, it's a great festival. I've, I've heard about it for a long time. I'm so happy to be here tonight. And I know that there is a, a big uh, commitment of France towards this festival. As the opening ceremony went on, the festival couldn't help but remember the young Ukrainian film director Oleg Sentsov from Crimea, currently serving a 20-year sentence in Russia after a sham trial. With so many sad pages in Ukraine's recent history, this decades-long festival, which discovers young talents, shows the world that Ukraine is more than just a crisis. This is Volodymyr Solubin Ivan Pavlovich reporting from Kyiv for Ukraine Today.